question number three deals with what is first part what is physics second part what is theory of unification and reductionism first part what is physics physics is branch of science which deals with physical phenomena natural physical phenomena and by explains it by using basic laws i repeat physics is a branch of natural science which deals with the study of physical phenomena by studying basic laws of nature as an example yes gravity phenomena of gravity earth if you release an object this object falls towards earth example you have an object you release this object from certain height if you release this object from certain height it moves towards earth this is what it is a physical phenomena if you explain this physical phenomena using the law of gravity that is law of gravitation then this branch of science which deals with this particular issue is termed as physics b part three b theory of or process of unification yes process in which diverse phenomena are explained in terms of few laws diverse phenomena diverse phenomena explained in terms of few laws as an example earth if you release an object say a marker it moves towards earth you explain it using yes law of gravitation to earth moon moves around earth yes moon moves around earth you explain motion of moon around earth by what force what force yes force of a gravity so you explain two different phenomena two different phenomena what are these two phenomena one falling of an object this is one phenomena what is the second phenomena motion of moon around earth these two are two different phenomena diverse phenomena but you explain the two yes using what law using law of a gravitation repeat diverse phenomena phenomena number 1 phenomena 2 diverse phenomena explained in terms of a few laws c 
second part of question number three B. is reductionism. Yes, reductionism is you explain property of a system by using the properties of its uh, constituents. So, what you have is a cylinder full of gas. This is atom present in the gas. So, atoms have speed, say V. If speed of the atom increases, yes, if speed increases, temperature will also increase. So, you can explain what, what property temperature using property of the atom that is speed, this phenomena is known as reductionism. Repeat, process to derive the properties of bigger system by understanding properties of a constituent parts. That is, you can explain the property of big system using property of constituent part or particle. Example, here what is constituent part? Atom. So, you can using speed that is property of a constituent atom using speed one can explain what temperature that is big property. So, big property of the system can be explained using small particle or constituent part property. This is what the theory of a reduction reductionism is.